jury deliberations into whether Saifulo Saipov should live or die got a late start because the judge, prosecutors, and defense attorneys spent the morning refining the charge that the jury was read. It was a two-hour reading, and inside of it, there was some discussion of whether or not jurors should be allowed to consider sympathy for Saipov. Eventually, some language was put in, and really, the jurors have to go through behind closed doors this very detailed special verdict form. I obtained a copy of it. They have to consider aggravating factors like his intent and mitigating factors like whether or not propaganda by ISIS led to that 2017 bike path killing of eight individuals. They even can consider factors that the prosecutors are suggesting like he would have gone on to kill more people had he not been stopped. That's what's going on behind closed doors right now. Saifulo Saipov hung his head for most of the trial, including in recent weeks when during the sentencing phase, jurors heard from family members of the eight people he was convicted of killing, six foreign tourists, a man from Manhattan, and another one from New Jersey. The jurors also saw gruesome pictures of victims' bodies along the bike path where they were killed on Halloween of 2017. Saipov's family testified on behalf of the 35-year-old man from Uzbekistan who was radicalized by ISIS. They told jurors his life was worth saving. The public defender said in summary, we are asking you to choose hope over fear, justice over vengeance, and in the end, life over death. To which the U.S. Attorney's Office responded, he chose to come to this country and then fight for an enemy. In our system of justice, the highest punishment is reserved for those who commit the most heinous crimes. New York no longer has the death penalty, but with this being a federal trial, it may mark the first execution in the Empire State in six decades. To underscore how morally difficult all of this might be for some jurors, the first couple of questions they sent back to the judge while they were deliberating was whether or not they could talk about the process of lethal injection, whether or not they could discuss the fact that Attorney General Merrick Garland has actually put a moratorium on executions right now. The judge said no, it would not be appropriate to discuss those factors in their deliberations, which continue. From the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Henry Rossoff, Fix 11 News.